I've been in this country for 50 years, and I finally saw something that, that proved that there was UFOs and spaceships. I was awestruck. Uh, once I overcame the shock, I grabbed my camera because I wanted to photograph it. What's uh, unusual about this place is, uh, is the fact that there's such a concentration of this type of phenomena, of, of the frequency of it, the variety of it that's going on here. In many ways, the Bradshaw Ranch is like any other ranch near Sedona, Arizona, but it's also becoming known as a center of unexplained phenomena, and perhaps a window to other worlds. What you are seeing is videotaped footage of a UFO shot at the Bradshaw Ranch on a typical night. It is for this reason that the ranch is taking on a new name, Galactic Park. Keep in mind the government we owns that ranch now. We saw this spaceship almost immediately, 40 or 50 balls of light. And fast, they were traveling fast down that hillside and right into the ranch. It was a really a spectacular thing to see. <laughs> for Bob Bradshaw and his wife Linda, it all started when they began witnessing strange phenomena that neither could explain. I saw some really incredible things. Um, I saw a red ball of light shoot straight into the sky and shoot out. Um, I uh, saw UFOs. And while I was photographing all of this, I sensed something behind me. And I turned around, and right above the bush was a pulsating ball of light, and it was beamed right at me. When Linda first told her son, Victor, he was skeptical. I would tell him, these things are out there, and he used to tease me. You come into my home sit humming the Twilight Zone thing to give me a hard time. But now Victor is a believer. While hiking near the property one day, he witnessed and recorded strange phenomena with his video camera. I'm very familiar with the territory and the animals in this area, and I've seen some animals that I've never known to exist. The Bradshaws started capturing so many unexplainable images, they called in internationally known author and UFO researcher Tom Dongo. He's co-written a book about the paranormal activity of the area. I uh, got my camera out and took some photographs, uh, random photographs, these are random photographs in any direction, and I got uh, some of the same sort of thing, but different. Uh, what I got was different from what Linda got. Linda shot a strange photograph that appeared to her to be an enormous movie screen in the sky. A huge, brilliant light showed up in the sky. It was octangular. I got two frames before it flicked back out again. All I could see with my eye was the light, but when I picked up the photograph, there was a picture of another place. It showed a, a ship flying through the air, telephone pole, there are no telephone poles here. It almost looks like it might be on the shore of an ocean. And there was a humanoid in the far left corner. We feel that this is indicative of showing us that there is another dimension right here. There is a connection. There is an opening. On Bob and Linda's invitation, we sent a camera crew to Bradshaw Ranch to see for ourselves. Our night vision cameras did capture something we can't explain. A strange strobing light that amazed the Bradshaws and our crew. Here's one right Yeah, we've got one of the major ones on the right with the gold. Yep. So that one just popped right up, didn't it? Yep. yep. And it's still there. And I'm going to go to the doubler so I'm going to increase the magnification. These strange UFOs may seem fantastic, but Tom Dongo says they are familiar visitors to the ranch and can be seen almost nightly. Well, that's that's one of them. It, now it'll probably blink out in a second, but you'll notice it's almost it's almost not moving. And it's going to get it'll get dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter. Very very odd phenomenon. Just right now. One evening, Tom took the spotlight and flashed three times. It flashed back at us three times. At that point, we knew that there was an intelligence. What are these unexplainable sightings? And why does it happen so frequently here near Sedona? Could there be a stargate or portal to other dimensions? According to you,
UFO researchers like Brian Myers, the answer may be found in science. Well, the scientific community has done a lot of research on dimensions. They have established that there are multiple dimensions existing in the same space. Now, why certain areas are like bleed-through areas, emerging points, or what people are calling portals, you know, we don't know that. Sedona. For centuries thought to be a mystical place, a sacred location where strange and inexplicable things happen. Now photographic evidence seems to support these legends, and thanks to a special agreement, the Bradshaw Ranch will soon be a research site on multiple dimensions and UFOs. Yeah, for the government.